Hi, this is Mr. Nazarian. Our lesson objective today, I can use parentheses, brackets, or braces in numerical expressions and evaluate expressions with these symbols. Fifth grade standard, operations in algebraic thinking, A1. So this is a review of um, using order operations. So we're going to move through this somewhat quickly. So you'll remember PEMDAS, um, another one that some people help to uh, remember was, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, and what uh, those stand for are, first, there's an order of things, right? When we do um, when we do operations and solve equations. So the first one is parentheses. So, um, and as you'll remember, um, within parentheses, there's kind of three different categories of parentheses. There's first the parentheses, just these uh, curved ones here. And that's the very first thing that you do in an equation, if there are any. And then if there are brackets, that is the second um, part that you work within, and then braces are the third. Um, so then if there are any exponents in the operation, that would be the next thing that you would tackle. So remember exponents are those little small numbers floating up next to the bigger uh, numbers. So if you have any of those, you would work on exponents next. Um, and then multiplication and division, I had the same uh, color here because remember those are tied. So if you have multiplication and division, you've moved on to multiplication or, or division. Um, then it's just left to right, whichever one comes first, you do first. And then after that's done, the last operations that you do are addition and subtraction. Again, those are tied. So if what you have left is addition and subtraction, you just work left to right. All right. So um, I have an equation up here that I would like you to solve. So go ahead and... Um, Actually, why don't we start off with step by step. So what would be the first uh, part of this equation that you would solve? Okay, so as you know from uh, order operation, PEMDAS, the P is for parentheses, right? And remember that the first of these three different kinds of symbols here, the first is these curved ones, just the regular old parentheses. So we're going to work with inside those parentheses first. 6 plus 4 is 10, and 5 minus 3 is 2. So now inside this bracket, I have the what 6 plus 4 gave me, which was 10, divided by what 5 minus 3 gave me, which was 2. Um, so I just write out the whole expression um, as is with the one change that I've done. I mean, there's two changes here, but from working within the parentheses. So now I have 3 times uh, the quantity 2 plus 10 divided by 2 times 2. All right. So then the next... Uh, Thing that we'd work inside of is these brackets, right? So that's mean I'm going to do 10 divided by 2, and that's going to give me 5 right here. So now within these the braces, I have 2 plus what was in here, 10 divided by 2. And once I've um, solved the last uh, operation inside of the parentheses or the brackets, then those just kind of poof away. So now I have 5 left here times 2 in braces. So now, what would be the next step that I would solve in this? That would be the multiplication, because now, remember, we're working inside of these braces. Um, but within these braces, there's two operations, and multiplication, remember, comes before addition. So I'm going to do 5 times 2 next, which will give me 10. So now I have 2 plus 10 inside the braces, and multiplied by 3 on the outside. And why don't we jump to uh, solving this? What would be the final answer? for this equation. Okay, so the next step, remember, would be working within this braces, so 2 plus 10, which would be 12, and then 3 times 12 would give us 36. All right, so that's what we're going to be uh, continuing to work on tomorrow, uh, and see you then. Bye.